Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm James and this video is an additional update to my last video that I did in this playlist regarding the DLE 20RA and engine mounts. So that number was number five in the playlist and I did an update to that. And specifically what I'm going to be talking about here is the Debro engine mount option. And there's a little bit of background on that. So I'm going to go over it again briefly. And if you're interested in a little bit more detail, check out that previous video number five and the update. So let's go ahead and start with what is in this manual and the DLE manual regarding the engine mount that they recommend. And we'll go from there. Okay, so this is the DLE 20RA. This is the rear exhaust, as you can see. And engine mounts are on page seven. And let's see if I can highlight this here so we can all see it, hopefully. But number one here, it says, select an engine mount, blah, blah, blah. And it says, preferred for the DLE 20, like the Debro vibration reducing engine mount 120, I'm sorry, yeah, 1.2 to the 1.8 Debro or DBG 1307. That was a mouthful. Okay. And then it also says here that the a template for the mounting of this particular engine, the DUBG 1307, is provided in the back here. Okay. So if you go online and you do a search using this product number right here, you will come up with this engine mount. Now this doesn't have this actual number on it, it doesn't have the DUBG 1307 because what I learned, and I'll tell you kind of how I learned that here in just a minute, this is actually a part number or an item number from Horizon Hobby, I believe. So Horizon Hobby is a, a current distributor of this engine and this is their sort of identification number. So if you type this in, like I mentioned, what will come up will be this Debro engine mount 688. That's what this guy is right here. So the reason that is, we're kind of talking a little bit more about that, a little bit about that history, is here's another manual that I have. It's a bigger version, blown up version. But this is what I learned. And what happened was, as I was kind of looking into this, I was able to contact a few of the guys over at Debro, and they were really helpful and they provide a lot of information. I'll go in, into more of that in a little bit here. But if you look at this manual, so it's 2014, okay? And it's distributed by HobbyCo, and HobbyCo put this manual together. And I'm assuming they worked somewhat with DLE to, to write this manual. Okay, so before I get into this exactly, I want to take a look at the actual DLE manual that you get from, if you go to the DLE website, you can download their manual for this engine. And it's actually pretty brief. It's only, I think, three, three pages, well, maybe four, yeah, it's four pages long. Okay. And as you can see, it doesn't have a whole bunch of information in here. And one thing it doesn't have in here is a recommendation for the engine mount and I take it that my my sort of interpretation or my my thoughts about this is probably this this is this manual is good but hobby co slash horizon hobby I'm just gonna put horizon on here because my understanding is horizon purchased hobby co and so horizon is now what hobby co used to be or at least they purchased their their business so as I mentioned, so Horizon Hobby Co worked to make this bigger, more sort of in-depth manual. And that's where they have the recommendation for this engine mount. So now if you venture over to the Debro website, they have three sizes of this engine mount. They have the 682, the 686, and this one, which is the 688. So this is the largest, okay? in that in those different sizes and I have not shown a picture of that right now and what you'll notice is that the 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 key sort of measurement that we're looking at is the distance between the mounting bolts here so this one 688 the distance is approximately 70 millimeters and if you look in the back of the manual here it's got a, the template that I mentioned 
uh, so right here you see here it is again it's a DUBG 1307 which again is the 688 and they have the 70 millimeters here for the template square and you can see here that this engine if I were to use this template it's this it corresponds to this engine mount okay so now going back to the previous video I did on this number five you'll remember that I concluded that this engine mount will not fit the rear exhaust because it bumps into this the muffler here so I had that video then I had the update video and I had people make comments on it this and that and we tried different things looked at it from different you know different ways and such but essentially it will not work you could you can if you want to you could try to modify this somehow to get it to work but out of the package it will not work because you don't end up you don't you don't have enough room to put the mounting bolt in here in the front without either I guess you would could possibly squeeze it right up against the edge but that wouldn't be recommended and then plus it would be hitting the muffler back here so I concluded that you know what this will not fit this engine now before I get on to the engine mount that will, will fit it I did want to talk a little bit about why I think this actually they recommend this and it doesn't fit so if we go back and we look at the DLE 20 manual so this is the side exhaust manual okay so it's a different engine instead of it instead of the exhaust being in the back it's on the side right um, and you go into this manual it does the same thing I think it's on page 7 go back to page 7 here I'm assuming hold on here it is oh yeah installing on it so there it is again so it's the same one it's the DUBG 1307 it's the same dude right here okay and again you go back to the template and this is a blown up version of the manual so it's not the scale but then again I hear they say that's the 70 millimeters and against the same engine so the thing is is this actually is even older this is a 2011 2011 hobby co so I don't know this for sure I don't have any other information other than just maybe some intuition is that they came out with this manual first and they were talking about the side exhaust and I believe that it would work with the side exhaust because the muffler is not going to get get in the way the muffler is on the side it's not going to get in the way in the back and what they did is when they got to the RA I don't know if they came out with the RA the rear exhaust later I'm kind of got the feeling that they that they developed the rear exhaust after they did the 20 side exhaust and they just kind of cut and paste the information from this manual into this manual without really checking to see if that engine mount would work that's just my hunch I don't know if that's true or not but either way you know that's that's the way kind of I'm looking at it obviously I think this would work this engine mount the 688 would work with this dude the side exhaust but it's not going to work with this rear exhaust okay so you know when I came across this issue I went to the Debrill website like I mentioned and I noticed that there was a video on there by um, Debrill and it, Debrill and that video talks about using or mounting the um, engine mount onto the airplane and it was and it shows um, the gentleman working on his name is Joshua and I actually talked to Joshua and he's a great guy and we talked back and forth through email we even talked on the phone about this and we couldn't figure out why we couldn't figure out why because he mounted he, 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 he mounted his engine mount this is his Debro engine mount onto his plane and f everything was fine we could not figure out why it was that mine didn't fit where his did and we did a whole bunch of back and forth we were thinking about well maybe the maybe the muffler is a bigger size maybe there's some change in the design of the engine blah 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 long story short it turns out that this is not the actual engine mount that was being used in that video and so he was just showing you know the the, the Debro engine mount being used for the for the this DLE and it wasn't again it wasn't specific about this model so don't don't get me wrong here I'm not saying that his video the which is on the Debro website is talking specifically about the 688 it's just showing the Debro engine mount being mounted on the airplane with this engine 
So that was sort of a long-winded way to get to this, which is this engine mount, which is the same length. It's four inches this way, but it's got a shorter distance between the, the mounting bolts. Okay, so this is number 682, and this is what is being used in that video on the Debro website. So the distance between these two guys right here is about 52 millimeters. This is the smallest version of this engine mount. And the midsize, the distance is about 63 millimeters. And again, this one is 70 millimeters. So this one will not, as I mentioned, will not fit. So let's pop this out of here and take a look at it and see how it goes on here. So again, this has nothing to do, when I'm, when I'm talking about this stuff, this has nothing to do with Debro, um, anything about anything wrong with their engine mounts. It's simply, the way I look at it, and it's simply the thing we kind of concluded was it's simply just a typo in the manual for this engine. They should have referred to the smaller size engine mount. Um, if, wanna, if, if they wanna recommend, if, if DLE slash Horizon wants to recommend a Debro engine mount, they should have been recommending the smaller one, which is this one here. Okay, so let's pop this out of here. And it's same, pretty much same design, just a little bit smaller profile in the vertical here. So let's move this out of the way. And bingo, see? And so that's one fits perfect, all right? So one thing you need to sort of think about is that on the packaging for these engine mounts, they don't talk about gas or glow engines. They just give some size ranges for them. And speaking with the guys at Debro, they mentioned that okay, they've been running their engine with this engine mount for quite some time and it performs great. And so you can decide if you want to use the smaller engine mount for the DLE 20RA. And the thing about it does is that even though it's smaller than this dude here, it's actually bigger, sort of a little bit, little bit beefier than this one, which is by Miracle Hobby, which this is the one that I, this is one of the mounts that I mentioned in that video number five when I was talking about different engine mounts. And this is actually rated for a 20cc. And it's actually a little bit smaller, even smaller yet than, than this one by Debro. And even the, where's the mounting hardware for it? Let's pull the hardware out of it here real quick. But even the, even the bolts are a little bit longer, a little bit bigger diameter than this guy, which like I said, is rated for 20 CC. So I guess in conclusion is that if you wanna go with the Debro engine mount for the rear exhaust, um, you can consider using this engine mount, which is the 682, as shown here, okay? And again, this, oops, this bigger one will not work. So the way this one's gonna work, is you're gonna have your bolts go through here. They give you the T-nuts, hook into the back of your firewall, like that. And then real quick, not to beat a dead horse, but I did want to just mention it one more time that this is not a Debro issue here. Debro just makes the different size engine mounts. So I do want to thank them for being available and for getting back to me when I was inquiring about some of this stuff. They were very helpful. The two gentlemen I talked to was uh, Joshua. He's the one who did the video. And then another individual, Brian, who helped me out with this. And I really appreciate Debro for doing that. And Here's my plug for Debro. They've been around for decades. They've been supplying great RC airplane equipment and other things besides that. And I'm so glad that they're still around providing this stuff for us. So two thumbs up to Debro. And I guess I'll just leave it there. All right, thanks everybody for watching the channel. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.